Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel ID Simplified. This video is part two in continuation of uh, application gateway configuration. So if you've been following our track in the last video, we made uh, application gateway with the name ITSAGW. And as you can see under the backend pools, I don't have any target server as of now. So that's what we'll do in uh, today's session. So what you can do is if you go to the virtual machine, we'll be adding two servers or two web servers. You can go to add, pick the resource group in which you want to deploy, name the server, pick the region, pick the image you want to deploy, give the administration account, the credential which will be used to connect to this server, And the first important step is that under the public inbound port, we'll be opening two ports, the HTTP port 80 and RDP, because uh, these are uh, the ports that we'll be needing. And you can go to disk, pick the quality of disk you want to deploy. And the second important step under networking is that uh, make sure that this machine is deployed under the subnet which we created in our previous video within application gateway configuration so it is ITSVE subnet and uh, rest everything you can leave that to the default you can go to the management and you can go to create so what i've done is just to keep this uh, these things simple i have deployed two servers uh, or in fact two web server ws1 and ws2 and uh, I have deployed the IAS role on these machines. So if you can go, you can go add roles and feature and deploy the web server role. And then you will see that you'll get the Internet Information Services Manager. And further, I have deployed two web pages on uh, these servers. And just to segregate this, if I go to first web server, grab the public IP of this machine. I should be hitting first server. So you can see that uh, this is the page on the first server. And very similar to that, if I can do the same thing for my second server, I should be hitting that too. Here we go. So I have done this configuration to keep the things simple. So what I'm going to do now, because I'm hitting both these server, let me go to the application gateway and expand this and under setting if i go to the backend pool you will see that uh, i don't have any target server so you can go and uh, uh, go to expand this application gateway backend pool and here you can uh, include the target server under target so if i expand this drop down you'll see i have the option of virtual machine i can go and select the first one associate this with the network interface card pick the second machine include the network interface card for the second machine and go and save so it is submitting the deployment the deployment is in progress and hopefully we'll get the successful notification and then we should see two target servers in this uh, pool. For some reason it says unable to get the deployment status. Okay, let's see what is happening. My region is behaving today a little bit, so I'm going to try this one more time. Okay, let's do that same thing again. Mm, it says no virtual machine found in location. That is what I was talking about. Even though I have these two servers running, it says that I don't have these machines running. Okay. Let's give one more try.
Okay, so after some hiccups, uh, you can see that uh, it's showing that I have now two target servers. So it means that it's working, but I'll still wait for this notification to be completed. So we should get something like uh, successfully uh, deployed. So let's wait this before we do the further testing. Okay, so deployment was successful, so that's good. So let me go to the overview page because I want to grab the front end IP of my application gateway. So I can just go and uh, copy. And uh, let's see now if I am able to reach our web server. Okay, so you can see that by utilizing the public IP of my application gateway, I'm able to reach my second web server. So let's do further testing. What I'm gonna do is I will go inside and I will do hard stop of my second server. So let me go inside WS2. Yes, I want to stop it. And then I will see if my traffic is uh, routed to the first web server or not. I'm just hard stopping this uh, uh, virtual machine. I just want to show you one more thing, or actually a couple of things, that uh, you can do a lot of configuration, right? So we use the basic tier with which uh, WAF is not supported. But if you want to go to the granular level, you want to, if you are that kind of organization, which uh, believe in high level of compliance, you want to restrict traffic, you can also use the WAF. Uh, for that functionality, you can go further into HTTP uh, settings, and you can see that you can also enable cookie-based affinity, connection draining, uh, what kind of protocol you want to use. So I'm just showing you all these options. You can also specify uh, different rules and you can you can edit that uh, accordingly you can also have the health probes right you can also add the health probe uh, that uh, you know after a certain interval if you're not getting the request the traffic should be routed automatically to the second or the third server depending upon how many servers you have and you also have the alerts and the metric you can also get the back end health so there are, there are a lot of uh, further granular level of configuration you can you can uh, configure in that. So you can see that my virtual machine, the second server, it still seems to be running, even though it says successfully stopped. As I said, I was talking that you know my region is just behaving a bit today. So the idea is that now I'm just trying to hard stop uh, the second server at which the traffic was routed and uh, it should automatically reroute the traffic to the second server. Okay, it's still updating. So here you go, you can see that my traffic is now automatically routed to the first web server. So in this video, you saw how you can configure application gateway and what are the different uh, options available. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.